I've got this new controller from Eevee Bits UK. It's for the Twizzy. So it's just a, a short video to tell you about this uh, new charge cable I've picked up. Um, there's a couple of them on the market. I decided to get this one um, from evbits.uk. Uh, There'll be a link uh, in the description. And as you can see, basically it's a, a cable. It's got a, a type two connector on the one end and on the other end it's a three pin uh, female socket with a master plug um, cover on it so that um, you know, you've know you got the, the waterproof and there's a little seal around there. Uh, and the reason I went for this one is a couple of reasons. One, it was relatively cheap. So this was a hundred pounds as opposed to about 250 pounds uh, for one of the kind of competing versions. I like the fact that I had the option to have uh, this covered so it's waterproof because basically this will plug into the charger. This will be kind of hanging around in the open then with the, the Twizy three pin plug plugged into here um, and also uh, depending on how much you know about electric vehicles when you plug one of these type 2 adapters in they lock into place so someone you know can't unplug it or steal it or, or what have you um, and when the charging stops this is supposed to unlock now the one that's more expensive um, is has been known to have some problems where it gets stuck and locked in um, the charger because because it's connected to this three pin plug um, it basically doesn't recognize that the vehicle stopped charging so it won't release the plug this one has a nice little um, uh, keyhole where you can basically manually uh, disconnect it if you get stuck which is fantastic um, so the reason why I've got one of these is even though obviously the Twizy comes with the three pin plug uh, and there are quite a few charging places that have those they're quite rare so most places you go to um, for example, where we're going to go in a moment is a, there's a new Waitrose uh, in the city around 10, 10 or 12 miles away, um, and they have four charging stations, um, but they are all Type 2, so I can't use that. Uh, and obviously, when I also go into you know, properly uh, into the city, um, there's one three pin charging station, and then like um, I think it's about seven Type 2. So it made sense. Um, you know, to get this Type 2, and it's because it's so small, it just folds up and go in the boot of the Twizy, on the extension came and everything, and uh, it works really well. So, what we do just to close off this video is um, going to drive to this Waitrose, we're going to plug this in and uh, see how things charge. One of the other things I've heard people say is actually with these Type 2 chargers, uh, even though it shouldn't really make any difference, get a, a faster charge rate than when you're getting off. Um, uh, of the three pin now it may be because typically the three pin are three kilowatt chargers uh, and a lot of the type two can be three kilowatt or seven kilowatts obviously the, the twizy is only going to charge at its maximum rate uh, perhaps it can do a little bit better uh, when it's not kind of coming off of uh, domestic power so let's get this uh plugged in and uh off we go Okay, good to go. It's been a little while since I've driven the Twizy actually. That's one of the keys. So, oh. Always enjoy driving it though. Let's have a little look. Oh wow. Um, so this is the first time I've seen it saying 41 um, miles. That's uh, 41 miles of range it's expecting, hopefully, from this charge. Obviously, some of that is based on um, the driving style uh, from last time. So, let's get going and uh, we'll catch up when we get to Waitrose.
Okay, so we're here. Um, as you can see, the um, mileage went down to 26. You don't, I guess many people say you don't need to worry too much actually about um, the range. It's more about how many bars you've used. Um, so as you saw there, we did, uh, it's basically eight miles to here. Um, so 28, 34, yeah, so it's about six, seven miles off, which isn't bad considering most of the journey uh, is uphill. Um, and obviously because um, the battery being fresh, there's only been a couple of opportunities for the, the regen to work. So let's charge out, try out this new uh, charging socket and uh, see how it works. So we've got the, uh, the type um, 2 plug. Plug that in into a... Okay, so it's charging now. The problem I had is uh, this little switch uh, was set to um, red, not green, uh, on the charging uh, adapter. And so as a result, we didn't realize it was time to charge. So that's uh, often charging. Uh, I'll just kind of grab something in there to, to uh, see if this works, and then I'll be back. I just grabbed a few bits. Let's uh, see. I wasn't in there very long, so I don't expect it to have charged up uh, too much. 0.51 kilowatts. Um, so that's going to equate to uh, not a lot in here when we check it out. Let's see. 9%. It's actually not too bad. Um, off into the town now, so we'll try out uh, one more and uh, see how that gets on. <clears throat> so I can't remember uh, what it was when we got here again now. I have to check back on the video myself, but now uh, we have 29 miles of range. So I think it's about a uh, mile, mile and a half to the, the next stop. So uh, let's rock on. This is quite funny actually, I'm sat in traffic now, but most of this journey is actually downhill. So I've been able to regen pretty much all the way from the Waitrose uh, into the city. So now, it says 31 miles, which is even more reason why the range thing is really just a guesstimate indicator. Uh, you need to go off the, the bars really. In the winter you get about three, three and a half miles per bar. Uh, in the summer, and a four and a half to five and a half, so that's a good indicator. But I think the light's going to turn green in a moment, so let's uh, pay attention to what we're doing. So I arrived at Asda, a bit of a delay. Um, I was helping this uh, lady with her Nissan Leaf, she couldn't get it working. But we're connected to these. 
and already this seems to charge faster so it's already put in 0.28 kilowatts and I'm up to 80 odd uh, percent so I'm gonna get myself a subway now and then we'll be back so I didn't uh, stop to talk because there was someone waiting to get their car in but it was up to 93 percent charge I think it was and so I'm back up to 40 miles so pretty much a, a complete charge which is amazing so yeah really loving this lead from EV Bits. recommend it Oh, and the lady said my car's really cute. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.